All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your friend Spencer here. I'll give you just a minute to log on. I want to thank you for watching this video. And uh, in my recent studies, I've been uh, learning a lot about Eastern religions and trying to study this type of material. Uh, the reason I do that is because I'm a missionary to Kenya and we work uh, with all different types of people groups over in Africa. Uh, it's very different than it is here in America. See, in America, most everybody is uh, some sort of evangelical Christian or there's some type of, you know, they're Methodist, Baptist, or non-denominational seems to be a pretty popular one. But over in the Eastern Hemisphere in Africa is very different uh, we deal with a lot of Muslims, we deal with a lot of Buddhists, we deal with a significant number of Hindu people over there in, uh, in Eastern Africa, and uh, man, there's just a lot of charismatic Christianity there, and uh, so we try to learn everything we can about this type of religions so that we can be effective in reaching these people with the gospel. The best way to reach these people is, uh, is to just try to learn what they believe. Well, one of the things that I've learned about in uh, my study of Buddhism in particular is something called Kundalini Yoga. Now, Kundalini Yoga is actually very popular here in America as well. Uh, if you go and do a Google search and look for a yoga place, there are many places probably nearby your home that practice Kundalini Yoga, and it actually is a form of religion. Now, when people think of yoga, they just think of stretching or exercising, but there actually is a spiritual element to this uh, that most people are not aware of. And so I've been studying Kundalini. I've been trying to learn what this is, and I want to just share with you some things. I want you to stay with me because I uh, what I'm going to show you is very interesting, uh, something that really has blown my mind completely about kundalini yoga. I want to explain to you what this is. Now, kundalini yoga basically is the idea that you were born with a spirit inside of you. Basically, it's in your pelvis. It is, uh, it is something that is a, uh, is a spirit serpent, a serpent spirit that lives inside of you. Now, for a Christian, that immediately sends bells off in our mind and that, that alerts us. But basically, what they teach is that there are seven levels in your spine and the top level Level is in your head and each one of those levels is something called a chakra. Now the point of Kundalini Yoga is to take the the uh, the energy that's in you, the spirit energy, the, the satanic or we call it satanic but the snake serpent energy that is in you from the first chakra in your pelvis and bring it up each chakra to the point where it actually comes over your head and then you have something called a Kundalini Awakening. Now that Kundalini Awakening is very significant Significant. I want to explain to you what that is. That is an experience they have where basically the power of the serpent spirit is set free inside of them. Now on my board behind me, I've written down nine things that are, uh, are capture and, uh, and explain what happens to a person when they have a kundalini awakening, okay? I want to go through each one of these. Uh, basically, I wrote them down for you so you can see them. They have a strong feeling of euphoria or love. They, they, they just, man, they just love everybody all of a sudden. And the next thing is they have a, uh, they, it's very common when they they have a kundalini awakening that they go into shaking, jerking, and convulsing. Another thing that happens when a person has a kundalini awakening is that they have psychic or prophetic visions and they see all these things. Another thing that happens when they have a kundalini awakening is that they start repeating mantras. Another thing that happens is they have a profound transformation uh, of consciousness or spirituality. Another thing that happens is that they have long emotional upheavals. That's pretty uh, common with a kundalini awakening. They also have a trance-like state that they get into and a loss of consciousness and uh, that is all the things the nine things that capture a uh, kundalini awakening now i want you to understand this about satan is that satan is a great counterfeiter uh, he he said i will be like the most high and i want to read this to you second corinthians chapter 11 verse number 13 says this for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of christ and no marvel for satan himself is transformed into an angel of light so uh Basically, what you have here is that Satan is always trying uh, to make false look like it's true. He's trying to do his, everything he can to make false doctrines look like true doctrines. Okay, so let me, let me put it to you this way. Um, basically, what's happening is, is that Satan is trying uh, to make, uh, make false religion look like true religion. What Satan will do is he'll take something like Kundalini Yoga and he'll change the words of it to something like this. He'll make it, he'll, instead of calling it Kundalini, 
he'll call it the Holy Spirit. Now, what will happen is when they have the Holy Spirit encounter, not a Kundalini encounter, they have a Holy Spirit encounter, it'll be a strong feeling of euphoria. It'll be shaking, jerking, convulsing. It'll be psychic or prophetic visions. It'll be use of repeating mantras. It'll be profound trans transformation of, of consciousness or spirituality. There'll be long emotional un upheavals. There'll be trance-like state or a loss of consciousness. What if I were to put it this way, okay? Instead of, instead of calling it Kundalini, I'll call it the Holy Spirit of God. And all these things happen with it. What I basically have done is I have perfectly described to you the charismatic movement in the United States of America. That's what I have explained to you. Now, let me, let me read a verse to you. And let me just ask you a question. Could it be that in America, in our false, the false churches that we have here in America, could it be that all these people are having experiences and they're meeting and, and seeing things and experiencing things that the Holy Ghost of God is not in is not involved in. It just looks like it. Okay, these people are having strong feelings of euphoria. They're convulsing. They're they're having uh, all all kinds of. Uh, I mean, they're seeing things in a different way. They have a heightened state of spirituality. But the Holy Ghost is not involved in that. That's very plausible. Could it be that? Look what it says in the second. Uh, excuse me, First Timothy four one and two it says, "Now the Spirit speaketh expressly in the latter times some shall depart from the faith." giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. <coughs> That's what Kundalini is. It's an Eastern religion, a seducing spirit, a doctrine of devils. That's what, uh, that's what all that kundalini yoga and Eastern religion is. It's doctrine of devils and seducing spirits. Could it be here in America, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, all these things that you're seeing, all the charismatic things that you're seeing, the, the healings and the people laying on the ground and convulsing, uh, could it be that that's not the Holy Ghost? Could it be that that is a Eastern religion, Kundalini experience being disguised as the Holy Spirit? Basically, what I'm trying to say here is, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is could it be that there's a counterfeit Holy Spirit in America? Could it be that, uh, that, that what we call today moves of God in a lot of these churches that we're seeing, could it be that all that's happening because there's a fake spirit masking itself as the Holy Spirit in these churches today? Could it be that? I want to propose that to you, and I want you to be aware of that. So here's what I'm trying to tell you is that you need to be aware that there's a false religion out there, and it's masking itself as Christianity, and you need to be aware of that and see that and realize that and make sure that you're saved have a bible reason as to why you're saved and also you need to know that uh, there is a false spirit out there calling itself the holy spirit when truth is it's something else so be aware be vigilant you're in the last days ladies and gentlemen jesus is coming soon and the devil's doing everything he can to wreck and ruin people and to deceive them into a false religion